Hey, what's up guys? Joker here. Today we're going to be talking about the launch of the GTX 1060 3 gigabyte model from NVIDIA as well as the announcement of the Zen architecture from AMD who held a preview event in San Francisco just the other day. Starting things off with the 1060 3 gigabyte model though, we knew that this card was coming because of some leaked information that we had talked about last week on the channel and now the 1060 3 gigabyte model is finally here, although it's gotten a fairly soft launch with the slightly cut down version of the 1060 card, which is supposed to be coming in at around $200 USD. So this is sporting three gigabytes of video memory. So it's got half the amount of the six gigabyte card, but it's also got lower CUDA cores and TMUs, which adds up to having less compute performance at 3.9 teraflops versus the 4.4 teraflops of the six gigabyte model of the GTX 1060. So we'll have to see where that all adds up in terms of its performance and, you know, how much the 1060 6 gigabyte is really, you know, worth in terms of the price to performance when compared to that 3 gigabyte card and will it be actually be worth uh, people going out and spending that extra $50. But just to kind of comment on the soft launch of this card is we haven't really seen any samples going out, haven't had any reviews start to pop up just yet, and the Hardware Canucks Twitter even suggested the company launches a new GPU, no press heads up, very quiet board partner news, no samples, sounds like no confidence in own product. Ouch, that's directly quoting the Hardware Canucks Twitter, so you guys can comment on that down in the comments below. That is, that is generally where the comments go. And uh, I wanted to get your feedback on that. Do you think that maybe uh, NVIDIA is lacking confidence in its 3 gigabyte cards, or maybe they're trying to push harder on the 6 gigabyte versions? Or as suggested over on video cards, Dot com is maybe they're trying to steal some thunder away from the Zen announcement, which we're going to be talking about in just a little bit. Um, personally, I'm really not sure uh, where to go on this. I mean, they could be trying to steal some thunder from AMD with Zen, but also then there's the point a lot of people brought up as well. That's the CPU division and NVIDIA makes GPUs. So, you know, is that really, um, would they really stoop to that level to try to take some some press away from AMD. But like I said, let me know in the comments below your guys' thought on um, the launch of the 1060 3 gigabyte model. Right now, there's only a few versions that I've been able to see over on Newegg. We got the um, the smaller the smaller versions with the single fan from EVGA and Zotac at 199. So those are no doubt probably going to be pretty good 1080p cards, and it's nice to finally see some cards at actually $199 that you can even buy. Look, look at that. Like, there they are. You can actually physically add these you know, to your cart conceivably. I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to click on it. It's opening pretty slow. Watch it be sold out by the time I open it. I don't know. Eventually this page will open and, and I'll be able to find out if I can add that to my cart or not. I don't know. Maybe the Zotac one will work a little bit. Hey, there we go. I can actually add the Zotac card to my cart. So there you go. $199 GTX 1060s, but they do have three gigabytes of video memory. A lot of people, you know, kind of had an issue with that. Like, oh, why three gigabytes? Why not four gigabytes? I don't know. Why not 10 gigabytes? Over in the UK, they do have a lot more variants listed over on websites like Scan, but those are just for pre-order right now, and they don't even have an ETA listed yet, so it's really your best guess as to when they'll actually be available over in the UK, and we could see these 3 gigabyte models listing for anywhere from 188 to 100 to 224 pounds in that about price range there, and the 6 gigabyte versions for reference are starting at around 235 pounds, so... You know, 188 to 235, it's like 40 pounds. That's roughly like 50, 60 dollars, um, you know, depending on, you know, the, the current currency uh, value at post Brexit. So, yeah, you guys, can, I don't know what's um, if it'll be better priced to performance for you guys over in the UK or maybe the three gigabyte version of the card will be um, more readily available in certain areas. That's always something to consider, obviously, because you may go to certain markets and find that the th you can only get the three gigabyte card or you can only find the RX 480 or the six gigabyte 1060. It's it changes everywhere. It's not like, you know, usually in the US where we can just we just have a plethora of everything. We just can we can just pick whatever we want. So that's why it's always good to be able to get as many cards into test as possible. But switching gears over to AMD now, they held an event out in San Francisco where they uh, kind of teased and previewed their uh, Zen CPUs, which we've been waiting for for ages, you know, boasting their 40% IPC gains and finally showing off a demo of Zen actually working up against a i7-6900K, which is a Broadwell E 8-core, 16-thread based processor. And since the Zen processor they were using also was 8 cores and 16 threads. Since they now support simultaneous multi-threading, they ran it in a blender test side by side, and they had both of the CPUs clocked at 3 gigahertz, and the Zen CPU did win out 
by just a little bit, just a few seconds, but, you know, it was still um, a win nonetheless. You know, according to them, AMD was running these tests themselves on their own test system, so Press didn't have access to the systems to go ahead and tweak and, you know, kind of investigate these things. It was really just AMD, you know, saying it, so you should, you know, kind of take that for what it is. And until we actually see these CPUs out in the market and in the hands of reviewers, then we'll actually know what we can expect. But this is definitely promising. I think for Zen and it excites me certainly you know I'm running a six core 12 threaded CPU now so if I could get something that's you know matching like the eight core 16 threads at a good price then Zen will be very attractive to me because at the time of making this video the 6900k that they were benchmarking it against is around $1100 so what will this Zen CPU cost that's going to be the big question there is what is it going to cost versus that $1100 Intel CPU variant. And today's video was sponsored by Slant.co, which is a community-based review site where you can go and you can ask questions and get feedback from the community or add in your own pros and cons for different things like your favorite games. Over here, we're looking at what are the best multiplayer games on PC. We have Dota 2 up here, Overwatch, which is personally my favorite at the minute I've been playing this game since it came out nonstop. So if you want to go hit up our sponsors, Slant.co, with the link down in the description below and vote on what your favorite multiplayer game is on the PC. But I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here, guys. Please let me know your thoughts on all of the stuff we discussed here today with Zen, as well as the, uh, the 1060 launch and what your thoughts are on all of that. And I will uh, see you in the comments for discussion and catch you next time. Turn.